You can use the annotation mode within Easy Interactive Tools, or EIT, to draw on images projected from a computer screen or document camera using an interactive pen or your finger. Run EIT on your computer. Select this icon, then this icon to switch to annotation mode. To draw or highlight, select this icon to choose a pen type. Then select the color. To draw a shape, select this icon to choose the shape type, then select the color. To erase drawings, select this icon, then use the interactive pen or your finger as an eraser. Select this icon to clear the entire page. Select this icon to undo the last action. Select this icon to redo. Select this icon to add text. Choose this icon to select an object. Drag this point to move it. Drag these points to reduce or enlarge it. Use this point to rotate it. Select this icon to see more interactive options. To save your screen to a file, select this icon from the toolbar. Select the save location, file name, and file format. If you want to edit a file again in the future, you must save it in EIT or IWB format. Using the Save tab of the Settings menu, you can change your default save location. You can use mouse mode within EIT to operate the computer from the projected image. Select this icon, then this icon to switch to mouse mode. To left-click, press and remove the pin tip from the projected image. To right-click, press the button on the interactive pin or hold the pin tip on the projected image for a few seconds and then remove it. To drag and drop, press the pin tip on the object that you want to move, drag it, and then remove the pin tip. If you have a finger touch unit installed, you can also use your fingers to scroll, pan, or zoom. Additional operations are available in the tool panel. Select this icon to open it. Select this icon to print the contents of the screen. Select this icon to display an image from an Epson document camera connected to the computer. Select this icon to display an enlarged view of the image. Drag the cursor over the area you want to enlarge. Select this icon to cover the display with a shade and hide content. Drag the edge of the shaded area to resize it. Click this icon to delete the shade. Select this icon to highlight an area using a spotlight effect. Drag the spotlight edge to resize the highlighted area. Click this icon to delete the spotlight. Select this icon to display an on-screen keyboard you can use to enter characters. 
For more information on mouse and annotation modes, see the online Easy Interactive Touch Operation Guide.